Max. Prove yourself. I have this combo. It's not really huge or anything like that since you could just self imprison. But now Schofield's in place. Tight wall. Looks tight enough. Uh, he doesn't land the stun, unfortunately. Rocket Barrage, how good is it? With a couple more punches, Leo Style is gonna go down. And also, Disruptor takes a lot back in a situation where you can be assertive. You gotta wait for your cores to get farmed. You just have to sit there and, again, just take it. They can rotate around onto Excel, get a little bit too far ahead of himself. He is gonna get into the trees. Has another Brain Sap if you can live, but one more shot should kill him off, and yeah, it will do just that. Excel gonna get picked off here. And Feast trying to get that passive laning advantage over that Phantom Lancer, but of course that means that he is very easy to kill off. Speaking of easy to kill off, Pita's dead. Ripper, oh, miss at the high ground? Okay, now he's dead. You don't get this being probably the most common item nowadays, but ooh, even these neutrals are gonna get into the action. The Lance is out, and the Doppelgang down to low ground. Kataro with the Phantom Rush damage. Just face to build off of right now, but I'm not really sure if they'll have a point where they are suddenly like, okay, let's go kill things. Because DK, I mean, he could push down the towers. In theory, if he didn't use his dragon form just to try to hold the lane down. Pizza is very powerful if he's not dying in the mid lane. DP up towards top will try to mount some sort of defense here. Stingers, not going to take all that much damage from that though. And they will retreat on the south end. Benjes is going to open the wounds of Stinger right now. Right clicks from the life stealer starting to add up as Mogu's going to close in. Has another toss right now, but is going to get dragon tailed so he can't quite get it out. Benyaz doesn't have enough to continue this chase right now. You don't want to really cast anything on the Phantom Lancer. Oh, that damage was enough to kill off Stinger? Okay, the toss was enough. They will kill off. The lane is still being pushed. The Coddle is in the trees. Is going to start throwing out those Illuminates. Mogur once again is back. Sladen's going to push forward. Does land the Blinding Light on the DK. But the Dragon Tail is going to stop Mogur from comboing. And Katara with the Bane coming in from the side. Kills off Sladen. And they also kill off the... Uh, it, it's something. It's a little bit of something. Here's a little bit of something as well. Benja's getting tossed in for the open wounds onto Pepita. If you had drums, maybe he survives that. Fissure, not gonna wall off Benja's. Doesn't do anything for anything versus the Mad Kings and maybe Schofield keep farming. Oh, they'll find a random disruptor. Unfortunately, they do miss their enchanted totem, but with the nightmare and the right clicks, I think they just got him. Bam! Right in the face. Well, good guy. So now we have a little bit of uh, a little bit of power coming out of the Shaker, and that power is going to be put straight into the face of that OD. He does have a four staff, but he's perfectly chain stunned. Fissure into right clicks, and now for Infamous, now is the point in the game where they can start making some moves. Unfortunately for them, the move is going to be made onto them first, as the DK is going to get bowled over by the horses. Nightmare attempt save from Excel, but a little bit off. And Mogur's gonna keep pushing forward right now. Has another toss. Is just beating the hell out of that Bane. Gonna get tossed up and should be dropping here. Once again, the horse is coming in Radiant for the kill. Hey, of course you have the Battle Fury, though. So if you're looking for more gold, that is the item for PL. Mm, Benjaz gripped up. Fissure will blink forward for a little bit of extra damage from the Enchant Totem. They get the Imprison off, however. Dragon Tail is still available. Mogur's gonna come in. Avalanche Toss annihilates Schofield. And now Stinger is gonna go invis. There is a sentry in the pocket of the Disruptor, and they'll be able to find him and kill him off. Got him. Swims back in the meantime. Excel is gonna dodge the horses, but he's at no mana. He has no backup. And there's a tiny on his ass right now, so he is super dead as well. Three kills for Mad Kings. Katara once again pushing in the top lane in the meantime, but is gonna get jumped on here by the OD. Of illusions are going to be cleaned out in the process. Avalanche toss. Okay, just none of it, I guess. Katara trying to just juke his way out of this, but oh, the Eclipse says no. Nice. Four kills for Mad Kings in as many minutes. Closing the gap just a little bit. Again, I don't mind that decision from Infamous to go for that Lifestealer kill. I do mind Schofield dying again here. That kind of sucks for him. Redeems it, so. Oh, someone got a little bit too close. It's Excel. That Avalanche... What happened there? I don't know what happened to the toss. He just didn't cast it. Shouldn't matter. They'll still get the kill, but eh, that was a little bit weird. Not willing to fight into a shrine. I don't know. Oh, they actually took off the nightmare to get the glimpse back, but it's only onto a bane. They do try to focus down that disruptor, but he gets imprisoned and saved. That toss was once again off the mark, but Stinger is pretty screwed here. Life Sealer gonna jump into the OD, just get a little bit closer. And the Radiance. Got him with the Radiance. He is so dead. Schofield looking to snipe KZE, but oh, walks into a sentry. Now is silenced. He can turn around for a fissure, but I don't think that's enough damage to actually get the kill. And he is going to die as well. 
infamous infamous over this series. But you know what? 8,200 gold. Yeah, behind his friendly Keeper of the Light, which really sucks. Speaking of Keeper of the Light, he's going to be here to try to help out the Life Stealer. Not quite in time, though. Does have the Aghanim Scepter, however. So not be aware of everyone else who's south of the OD. Excel soon will be, however. Glimpse back, and you are dead, sir. Tiny got him with the toss, got him with the tree branch. They have found someone inside him. Blinding Light coming in a little bit too late there. A lot of kills. 2-1-2. Two, two, it's perfectly fine. And every single kill they get... It's been Excel. Seven deaths now. Obviously not every kill on the Bane, but you know what? That's fine, because every kill on the Bane means that Benjaz is in a little bit of trouble here. He is going to get caught in the call down. Chain stun as well. No rage available. Static Storm goes up. Does catch the DK, and then we'll glimpse back the Shaker. But Pepita being in the area is going to give them some much-needed cover as Slyman's going to yank in Leo style. Looking for Schofield. A couple of Lancers and Illusions getting in the way. They will just drop the Eclipse and get the kill. But it's only an Earthshaker, and now the OD's in a really precarious position because he hit with the Dragon Tail immediately. The Blinding Light gonna give him a lot of cover, but with the BKB is still able to hit all of his shots. He's just not doing enough damage, they're instead focusing onto Mogur the Tiny, and they will be able to take him down instead. Heal's going out into Leo style, but not quite enough. Now he's way too far away from the Cobble to actually get any useful help from him. He's gonna get torn to shreds by the Smurfs. Double Stalker, where are you at? Now looking for some vision here, Excel gonna once again hide. He's spotted though. Nightmare of the OD. Still has the glimpse, but the glimpse isn't really going to take them that far. Are they going to bother saving Excel right now? They're running out of vision. Oh, no, they have more vision from the Coddle. Short glimpse, that's not going to do much. But it will get the kill, because it's a Bane, and Banes die very easily. They'll also catch Shaker with the Mana Leak stun. But while they're chasing all these supports, bottom and top are both being pushed. Shaker, oh, he had Blink Dagger for a split second there. He's going to go down, but the backdoor protection is active in this one. Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm not really feeling it right now, Stinger. You may be in a little bit of trouble. Take down the DK as well. Mad Kings are able to... But uh, with this infinite heal from the uh, Keeper of the Light, it's no longer there. Never mind. It's going to cost them a little bit of health, but hey, you know what? They found Excel again. What is that? Nine deaths? No heals coming from the Coddle, and OD cannot stand his ground despite doing additional damage versus the Illusions. Does get Glimmer out. Oh, KZE is going to land the Static Storm, and that should be able to kill off the PL at the end of the day. And at the same time, the Imprisoned does save the Disruptor, so Static Storm proving to be that hard counter. But Schofield jumps in, snipes him, and then jumps out. KB call down, now out. He's going to BKB, get right into the middle of everyone. Stinger's going to come in, and the Fissure is going to be cancelled. The Urshaker can't do anything. He's going to Echo Slam nobody. They have, however, been able to isolate and kill off Sladen. It's going to cost them two BKB charges, but they actually have caught the Tiny as well. In the middle of No Man's Land, Mogur's going to get buzzed down. Stinger grabs a... He's ready to go, but he is pushing really, really far ahead of his allies right now. Stinger's going to pop that BKB, just turn around, get to work on the OD. Blind Light going to get Schofield into a better position, but he does have the Hurricane Pike out, and he will imprison himself. So the OD's not dead just yet, but Kotaro still at full HP and still with the Phantom Rush. Able to lance down Kotaro with the Fissure, they'll get the kill. The heals may be there, as Bendy is going to pop right out, get to work onto Kelsa Priest, Excel, and maybe able to catch Schofield here as well. Does, does blink out, though, before any damage can be applied to him. Still going to go down in the end. They've already taken what they wanted, though, so losing a Bane this right now. Gem on the Keeper, not going to do him any favors here. They are going to get the grip. Stinger with the BKB up is going to snipe the Keeper of the Light. Now Gem is on the floor. Mogur Benjez, though, still very firmly in the air. Pizza is going to chase down Leo style and just force him to the high ground. Isolate Benjez, therefore, so that Stinger and Pizza can just handle him and kite him as much as they can possibly allow with that Eye of Scotty. They're going to lose Excel, but again, who cares? Because in the main fight, it's the Phantom Lancer going to go in. Although he can't quite catch up to that OD, he will isolate Sladen, who has bought back. Can't quite get on him, though. He's going to miss that Lance. They do stack him up, but oh, the glimpse back onto the PL actually will get him killed off. And now the OD imprisons himself, so he's going to stay alive versus that call down. Schofield looking for an Echo Slam will land onto the OD, will get the kill, in fact. But it's going to cost him that DK as the Lifesler does chase him down, gets the kill. Bot lane in full breach will be cleaned up in time. And that fight, really, really messy for Infamous. That movement of the fight from the low ground to the high ground really, really cost an Infamous there. Oh, Moger wants to pick a fight with Pizza. Looks like that won't be much of a fight. He'll just get the kill. Both perma slow, but the Glimmer Cape is out, and Katara doesn't have any true sight for that. So he just got to run down the lane. They will maybe see the Disruptor, and they will, in fact, see him, and then just absolutely annihilate him. 
everyone else going to retreat with that leak him but the blinding light misses dodge by the doppelganger and now katara's gonna try to bait them out as they do jump in dragon tail stinger his target is gonna get banished and they'll find the tiny instead moger is in the wrong neighborhood and he'll get picked off immediately no tiny for this fight now benjes is also kind of isolated here he's gonna try to chase after this dk but he has so much armor i don't think he can actually kill him off in any reasonable fashion off to the north of this fight slide is gonna get chased down by the missiles he'll be sh for sure picked off and benjes will too they will isolate Schofield, kill off the Shaker, but they got to get themselves the hell out of here. Disruptor is going to glimmer himself. Breathe Fire still lands, and he's going to get spotted by the Courier, I think. Yeah, he's spotted by the Courier. Picked off, and no one from... What? He's just... He's out, man. Leo Style's out, man. He's just... He's just gone. He's just gone. <laughs>